MrWizard.com reviews the free DNS benchmark tool from Gibson Research Corporation. Whether you know it or not, you use DNS services. You use those services a lot. Every time you access the, an internet website, your computer needs help finding it. Every internet website is given a unique numeric IP address. Valid IP addresses look like this, 74.125.67.106 or something like that. There are more than 4 billion numeric internet addresses. Some are assigned, while others are not. That particular IP address actually belongs to Google.com, so the next time you want to use Google's search engine, instead of typing Google.com into your browser's address bar, you could just type 74.125.67.106, and you'll probably get a slightly faster response. If you type Google.com instead, your response will be slightly slower, because your computer needs help from somebody or some service that knows how to translate domain names like Google.com into internet address numbers like 74.125.67.106. The most important mechanism for translating domain names into internet addresses is known as the Domain Name Service, or DNS. Your computer's operating system is always configured with the numeric IP address for at least one domain name server, so it can ask for help in these situations. Now, ideally, the selected domain name server is going to be physically close to you. Uh, your computer will share a high-speed connection with it, and it's, it's going to be based in a high-speed, powerful computer, and it'll have high-speed connections with the rest of the Internet. If all of those conditions are optimized, then DNS name lookups will require only a few milliseconds, and you'll probably never notice the lookup delay. Even if your daily surfing patterns access hundreds of websites, and thousands of pages. However, it is quite commonplace for one or more of those ideal conditions to have problems. And some DNS servers are just better than others. Some individual web pages load frames or images from many other websites, and each of those pages might need to perform dozens and dozens of DNS lookups. In those cases, slow DNS performance will make your browsing experience seem dull and halting. When you first set up your cable or DSL modem internet connection, your ISP probably configured your DNS settings for you, and they may never have been optimized or adjusted for years. Those settings may reference a DNS server that's physically located thousands of miles away from you. The server hardware may now be old and slow or overworked. Tens of thousands of other users may be clogging its resources during busy portions of the workday. The server may suffer from inadequate connection to you or to other services out on the worldwide internet. Now, if you need help understanding this technology and vocabulary, you can learn all of the basics of internet addresses, domain name servers, ISPs, and etc. from other video clips in the Networking Fundamentals section here at AskMrWizard.com. Once all of these basics are understood, you can optimize your own DNS configuration. There are thousands of free domain name servers that you can use. No matter where you live on this planet, some are going to be near to you. Others will be far away. Some are fast. Some are slow. Some are underutilized and some are overworked. Some are reliable. Others, maybe not. Some are constantly monitored for security weaknesses and are updated with the latest security upgrades and patches, while others are vulnerable to attack and compromise. Until recently, it was quite difficult to evaluate the performance of the many DNS servers that are available worldwide, but now all that has changed. Thanks to the generosity and skill of Steve Gibson of Gibson Research Corporation, it's free and easy for anybody to find a good, fast domain name server. Most people will notice improved internet performance if they use Steve's free DNS benchmark utility to locate good domain name servers near them and then configure their PCs or routers to access them accordingly. Sometimes this process can provide dramatic performance improvement. In this AskMrWizard.com report, we'll show exactly how we downloaded and used Steve Gibson's DNS Benchmark utility 
to learn about our existing DNS configuration, to measure the performance of thousands of domain name servers offering free service to our location, and to select two new DNS servers, a primary and a secondary, for improved performance. First, a quick review of our AskMrWizard.com network. We have nine PCs, two Skype phones, two file servers, three media servers, a security camera, and one print server that all have internet access through our single DSL connection. All of these systems receive private IP addresses behind a single NAT router. The NAT router maintains a list of two domain name servers which it relays through all, to all the other computers for all the conversations on behalf of everybody. Thus, any change we make to the router's IP configuration will instantly affect all of the other computers and internet devices in our network. So with that background, let's get started. Welcome to all of our YouTube viewers. If you are using YouTube to watch these clips, it can be difficult to find the next one in the proper sequence. Please come visit us at AskMrWizard.com where we have the online technology magazine organized to make it really easy to find these in context, along with related text, images, and discussions.